What's going on YouTube? This is Kickstart here with the sneaker drawing video of the Air Jordan 5 Olympic gold medal. As I mentioned yesterday, I am finally off from school. I have three weeks off. And what I really want to do with these three weeks is actually a couple things. One, especially starting tomorrow and continuing until I get back into school. One thing I want to do is I want to have step-by-step -step tutorial videos on how to draw whatever sneaker every day especially since these videos take a little longer to do than these average sneaker drawing or uh, custom sneaker drawing videos. But one thing I'd rather do is I'd rather pump out these videos now while I have the extra time. That way when school comes back around, I'll still have a nice little catalog of how to draw step-by-step -step videos for you to kind of keep you held down. And of course, I'm gonna try to get these out on the weekends as well. Usually during the weekdays, my schedule is pretty packed with both school and work. So on those days, I want to take a lighter load and just doing regular sneaker drawing videos with commentary, of course. And that's another thing I want to do. I really want to make sure that starting at the end of or the beginning of next year, all my videos will have commentary for the most part through. If there's days where I just I'm really busy and I know that it's going to be more of a burden to do the commentary, then I'll just have a regular sneaker drawing video. But at the very least, I want to make sure that I have a new video uploaded every day. Now, for those of you who don't know, the school I attend is the Art Institute of Tampa, and I think it's actually pretty interesting how the curriculum is set up. I'm studying graphic design over there, and the way the school works is that you have four quarters as opposed to two semesters. So at the start of the year, you'll go to class for 11 weeks. You'll have like four classes or whatever, and then you'll take a week off. That would be like your spring break. And then you have another set of classes, right? You'll do that for 11 weeks, and then you'll have three weeks off. So that'll be your summer. Then you go on for the fall for 11 weeks, then you have a week off. That's like, you know, just a regular week off during the fall. And then you have 11 weeks on, and then you have three weeks off, which would be your winter break. And for the graphic design degree, it's about a little under four years. I already came into the program with transfer credits. So for me, I have about a year and a quarter left until I graduate. Now I will say this, the way the classes are set up with the R Institute is actually really weird. So normally with your traditional classes that have semesters, you'll go to class twice a week and there'll be like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. With the R Institute, you only go to class once a week. And the problem with that is that your classes are at four hour intervals. So there's a morning class, there's an afternoon class, and then there's a night class, which means if you have to take two classes in a day, you're at the school for at least seven hours. If you have three classes in a day, you're at the school for a good 12, 14 hours. And the problem with that is because they can't offer every class every quarter and they also can't offer classes if there's not enough students to fulfill the class. So based on the students that are going for that quarter and based off the classes that they're able to offer that quarter, you're kind of at the mercy of the schedule that the school gives you. So if you have work or if you have other obligations, you're going to have to prioritize the school first to make sure you get those classes because you can join in during any quarter but your classes would have to fall in line with what classes are available, which means on certain quarters, you might take a class that you're not technically ready for or haven't met the prereqs. So it, it's really complicated how that works, but overall, it's definitely a lot more interesting than traditional semesters in schooling. And especially since it's graphic design, it's what I love to do. It's what I'm actually really good at. All right, guys, but uh, like I said, for this next week, one thing I really wanna do is to do the how to draw videos every day. So please let me know in the description down below what videos you like to see. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.